got a lot of questions. A lot of people telling me they want me to review the 320. Well, I'll do you one better. How about the 320 X5? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty right there. That's a good look. Yeah. All right, this is true. I'm really, I might be honest with you, I'm really not in the mood to talk. I kind of just want to keep shooting. Um, especially when you have free ammo, guns to shoot. Kind of just all I want to do. So, that's what we do. You're used to shooting those little tiny P365s, and you finally step up to the big boy guns. Yeah, really, you forget how enjoyable shooting bigger, bigger guns are. With me. So I was kind of trying to do a little precision. Uh, like this, but you know, we'll make it do what it do, baby. This jacket ain't helping either. Yeah. Six hours, X5. So we're gonna go shoot some steel. You know I love shooting steel, so let's do it. Man, you don't realize how much you can shoot all day long when you start going to these bigger size guns. Look at that, straight out of the box. P320X5, it comes out of the box like this. Well, minus the optic, but it does come optic ready. But I mean, look at it. Uh, it was amazing in hand. I love this trigger. I freaking love this trigger. Like, you wanna come on that side and look at this. Yeah, oh. Boom. <laughs> yeah. 
Boom. I, I like this. I'm so used to shooting some compacts that go into a full size gun like this. It just, it's just, it's just a different experience. I just, that, <laughs> different experience from the standpoint that I shoot a lot of smaller guns. Um, but coming to this, it just makes me remember just the, just the inherent joy of shooting because shooting smaller guns can kind of be a chore because uh, they're harder to shoot typically. But that right there, that's the business. So if you want to shoot to 100, go right over there and that's I love it out here. God, this is beautiful. Look at all the colors. Take it back. So, basically what I'm gonna do, is uh, I'm gonna take this X5 P360, take it out to 100 yards. Oh, man. God, I can stay out here all day. There you go right here, 100 yards. 100 yards right here? All right, so. I hope I don't embarrass myself, but I won't. <laughs> that was a hit. That was a hit? Tell you right now, I'm kind of in my zone. I love this. Is I love doing this. I can do this all day long. I love shooting guns at distance, even when I'm not necessarily shooting away. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to acclimate myself to the red dot. I usually don't shoot red dot on my handguns and I've been fighting it for the longest, but as one of the instructors out here so eloquently stated, it's almost 2020, time to get on board. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> a lot of bullets. Six hour. P3. P320 X5. <sighs> Alright, so that time I used the red dot. Um, I used red dot the whole time actually. And, and, well actually I switched at some point between the red dot and going back to irons. And at distance, it's, it's, it's a no brainer. Um, using a red dot makes all the sense in the world. I mean, I wouldn't do it with a rifle. Well, I don't know why I would decide to do it with a handgun. But um, I think where I'm gonna have to start kind of balancing, not balancing, but just acclimating myself to shooting with a red dot is shooting at speed at closer distances and learning to pick up that red dot sight. Other than that, going red dot makes all the sense in the world. And running it with this X5, yeah. I, I love this trigger. This trigger is, yeah. There you have it. 220, that's five. I like these mags, look at these base plates. With the Legion Lambda on the bottom. 
That is dope. I feel it like. Yep. Magwell. Color me smitten. All right, folks. <laughs> right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice, and let them know you want to keep America tactical, because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion. It was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to get your I will not comply, I lost all of my guns in a boating accident, the AR-15 is protected by the Second Amendment, and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirts, click the links in the description section of this video.